at that hand. He looked like he got a drill on his hand or something. Boom. There you go. In the chest. You're done for. Now I'm going to take care of you, Mr. Drillerton. I mean, go back to uh, that digging game. You know the one. Namco Arcade. No? No one? Dig Diglet? Okay. You can turn into a Diglet, too. I'm okay with that as well. It's not a Doug Trio. Those things have three heads. You clearly only have one. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this guy's drilly thing. Yes! I am the one who is going to be playing Diggy Diggit today. Launch a separated shard from the embedded into surface and explode. What? Launch a separated shards that are embedded into surface and explode when triggers. Fire shard, detonate shard. Ooh, okay. So we got bombs. I mean, this would have been useful when you had to bomb the wall or whatever. All right. So that's where we came from. The thing just totally locked on us. But the big question is... Yeah, it doesn't feel too kindly about exploding right now. I'm going to put this down so I can travel a little lighter for now. Because right now there seems to be a split path that we can take right about here. And I'd like to take care of that real quick. Make sure that I'm not missing out on anything. I don't believe we came from here. I believe we came from somewhere else. Oh, no, we did come from here. There's a chest. Okay. Well, I suppose that none of these split paths are going to be particularly relevant. Except for the one that we're actually going to be headed in. So, might as well pick this up and slowly waltz, so I said. Ooh, health. <laughs> That's not actually what I said, but you know what? That is going to be the trigger word for all that is happiness. Because, well, I'm quite happy to see that green bar fill up. Alright. Okay, we're going to be doing this because we're going to be slowly waltzing away. Waltzing, yes. This really is dancing with the stars. It's a shame our good friend, the, the lich, the lich bitch. I'm going to call it the lich bitch. Because of what happened early. Oh, there's one right here. Well, that was kind of pointless. Oh, what the shit? You know what? You're gonna take that. Boom. You're dead. Boom. You're dead. Boom. You're dead too. She exploded into pieces. He's crawling. He's just like, put me out of my misery. And he's like, never mind. I'm coming back. Jeez. I wonder how many freaking ammunitions we have on this thing. Oh, don't don't blow me up, please. I'm too young to be blown up by you. Here you go. Have like three explosions. Well, have all the explosions actually. Three just wasn't good enough. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, that's gotta hurt. Alright, sweet. That takes care of that. This one looks bigger. I don't know why, but it just does. I don't know why that's a good idea either, because we we're already going slow enough with the small one, but you know, bigger bigger the better. When it comes to explosive freaking devices go ahead and make use of them to their fullest of extents. Man. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game mechanic, I might add. It's when you think about it. I don't know, this game, sometimes I feel like this game goes too overboard with, like, kind of gimmicky game mechanics, but sometimes they're cool, so I don't know. Maybe in Darksiders 2, they'll have found that perfect balance between the gimmicky and the awesomeness. This is pretty cool. Some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna blow you up now, though. I mean, I'm not a cool person. I'm just saying that this device is cool for being able to allow war to be such an uncool person. Blowing people up and shit. It's totally uncool. Alright. What next? I mean, I'm sure Bruce Willis would beg to differ, but... Okay. What do we got down here? We've got a few places we could go. I'm gonna go explore this side of things first. Break a few boxes. It does appear that there's nothing to see here. All right. Well, if there's nothing to see here, then we're going to be seeing something elsewhere. Um, I should probably just drop this now that I... Yeah, I, I should get in the habit of dropping this when there's no action going on, because there seems to be plenty of these just sort of like... Oh, crap. As soon as I drop it... I mean, I, there's one right there. I get to pick it up again anyways. Um, uh, can I please not? Here, health! Save me! Oh, actually, actually. Does this guy have, like, special armor or something? Am I gonna have to push you off the side of the pier? There you go. See you later. Oh, oh, he didn't even get to drop. I like this one better. I don't know why, every time I kill one, I'm like, yes, trophy of war, and I just pick up their gun instead. Because for some reason it looks bigger at the time. I don't know, maybe it just looks bigger because they're so much larger than me, so it was like, well, this is their gun that they're using it must be, must be aptly sized, right? Then I realized I was using all their guns to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. It's pretty much the same size as it would have been. You know, I should really save that. I am not in dire need of health right now, so I don't know why I'm actually heading over to that health pack in particular. There we go. 
blow up all the things. Um, oh crap. I think I just felt an earthquake. Man, it is a noisy day today. <laughs> Don't worry, it wasn't a very solid earthquake if there was one, I'm just saying. Either that or I'm just way too immersed into this game. Because I'm sure, I'm quite sure that this game is being quite seismic at this particular point in time. Oh, hey, buddy, are you going to actually be nice to me and, like, cut the cut the rope? Cut the chains, actually. The chains. Oh, look, he's going to let me down. It's sweet. It's cool. It's a cool guy. And it's just so that we can get killed by the people who don't fear us. Okay. Well, at least he doesn't fear us enough to let down the gate. Sorry about that, but in the confusion, this one guy up there just died anyways. So, don't worry. All right. Now that he's down for the count, I guess I have something to fear now. Boom. See you later. Jeez, there's like an infinite... There's a lot of these guys. Holy crap. They're coming from every angle. Such a chaotic time. Let me go ahead and keep taking them out. Hopefully, we are going to be able to take ourselves out of this particular pit of multiple people trying to kill us. You know, it's getting kind of annoying. Oh, this guy's just sitting there waiting for me to show up so he can start blowing me up. I don't know. These guys aren't very good shooters. I mean, these, these things are pretty rapid fire. You should take a few notes. Jeez. I mean, I guess when they do hit me, they do a lot of damage, but... Jeez. They just don't seem to be doing a very terribly good job at it. Alright. Let's continue up. Oh. Is that thing floating in the air? Jeez, I've been seeing way too much of that. This is getting old. Alright. Let's drop this for a second. Grab some health because... Oh, what the heck? Sneaking up on me, will ya? Okay, I'm gonna take you out the good old-fashioned way because I can't be bothered right now. Okay, I can... Oh, I can't. I really can't be bothered. So I could be bothered for all of five seconds there. Then I was like, nope, too heavy. Man, War, you're getting lazy. You need to get back on that exercise regime. You know, one, two, one, two, jump, jump, jump. Okay, I can't do it here because I don't have something to hold on to. But you know, you know the one, War. You need to get to it. Your arms are getting lazy if you can't hold this thing. But to be fair, considering how slow you're walking, it must be at least somewhat tedious. Oh, jeez. War, come on, move faster. All right. Blow up some more. Look, some more goons. I'm gonna call them goons, even if they're some of the big ones. You know, who cares? They're all goons to me. You're a goon too. Bye bye, goons. See you later. All right. Well, I'll put this down here. Another health chest that I really don't need. They're pretty generous on these health chests in this place, though. Actually, they should probably be less generous on it. Considering the worm can kill you in one hit, you'd want these guys to be at least somewhat of a challenge in order to make it less underwhelming. Oh, look, it's just going to cutscene me. doesn't want me to go exploring what was down there, even though, to be fair, I'm pretty sure we explored every inch of that place just trying to escape from it. Oh, well. That's that, I suppose. What is next is the big question that we must be asking ourselves. Ooh, that looks like... It does not look like the kind of next that I want to be involved with, but it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Damn. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get involved. What is this? Some sort of gladiator arena? For the destroyer. Oh boy. I suppose these are all the goons. The clan of goons that have been stealing the Stygian and all that good stuff. Oh, what the shit. Not that guy again. And there's this guy. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Yeah, you know what? Your horse will bring me glory. So can I please have it? Thank you. I would love, I would love to have it for you, for a second. Is he gonna die? Okay. Or he's just gonna do an epic pose and just freeze there. He can't kill us all. Yes, I can. Wanna bet? Watch me. Watch me. I'm going to kill you all, and you're gonna, <laughs> you're, it's gonna be funny. You're gonna be laughing. You won't be laughing anymore. Is what I should be saying. You're not gonna be laughing. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna cut out your laughing box. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm badass. I just threatened to cut out your laughing box. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We got a badass over here. Jeez, we do have a badass over here. Horsing around. Stop. Quit horsing around. All right, I probably don't want to kill all of these because they seem to have infinite reinforcements. So if I leave one alive, maybe... Oh, no, he's gonna be tempted to bring him in anyways. Man, he's just a chicken. It's not a horse, that's a chicken. Come back, come back here, chicken horse. I need... I need to take care of business. 
to you, chicken horse. Maybe I do have to take out this guy. In order to get chicken horse to stop being so freaking afraid of me. Come over here. Thank you. There goes chicken horse. So you get. What now? What, you want some more? Yeah, he dead. Alright, so the freaking lone rider right there wasn't actually that great. Kill him, kill him. And here I was thinking that they were actually letting me out. I mean, I don't know why I would think that, considering they were going all, kill him, kill him. But you never know, right? It could have been. It was, it was, it was the dream, and they, they foiled it. Now the dream, escaping is not real enough. I'm going to have to steal a horse to escape, like a good action adventure movie protagonist. And it's not gonna work because no matter how many horses I steal, the gate's still gonna be closed. In all likelihood. But still gonna take all your horses. Jeez. You guys are your horses, man. They go too fast. I mean if I get close to them, it's only because they're attacking me. It makes it kind of impossible to get rid of them. What, was he, is he stuck? I thought I thought he was like stuck. Either that or he's having like a heated conversation with the tension over there. I don't know. Kill him, kill him doesn't sound like the type of heated conversation they were having. Probably something more about who stole whose broccoli for dinner or something. Yes, zombies like broccoli. In fact, in fact they fight over it actually. It's, it's weird. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't hate on broccoli either. Something actually like broccoli. I was gonna say it's because their taste buds must be dead, but I suppose that's a little, it's a little harsh on broccoli, man. I mean, considering how much I love the green souls, I mean, I gotta love the green vegetables, too. I mean, I guess, I guess once the apocalypse comes, the green veggies be more appreciated, man. It's more appreciated by every party, including the crazy killer whale. I, how do, why are these killer whales? Yes, these are killer whales. That's that thing over there could be considered a killer whale. That's what I'm gonna call you. Certainly the size of a whale by comparison to these guys. Holy crap. Not really. I mean, if we consider this to be the size of a dog, then technically I'm the size of a dog, and that guy's only about three times bigger than me. So, what is he? What is three times bigger than a dog? I don't know. He's a gorilla. Hi, gorilla. Um, I'm going to be killing you. I am going to be your host today. Um, today we're having cooked gorilla. I know that that's really insensitive to you. Jeez, man. PETA really should be. Peter really should be on my arse these last few episodes. What the hell? I'm being pretty morbid about these gorilla situations. All right. I'm gonna take care of you. Ooh, you have no arms. How's it going? Boom! Punch to the face. And I snapped his neck. Man, I am pretty I am pretty mean to the gorillas. I am, I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to rectify this. But first, I would rather not be killed. I mean, it's all right with these guys. These, I swear, this guy is just... This guy's just helping me out. He's just killing all the others. Why did they release this guy onto the world? I don't understand. Man, I don't even know why I'm being so mean to my gorilla buddy here. He is totally helping me out. Leave nothing of him. Hell, he's leaving nothing of no one else either. He's, your whole army's gonna be dwindled by the time this guy's done. There we go. Take care of him. Ooh, I could use a drink of water right now. Usually I bring a drink of water with me when I record. Alas, I did not this time around. Uh, happens to be the longest recording session ever. It's okay though. I'm actually having fun. I'm having fun beating up these gorillas. Again, please don't, don't take that literally. You know, what, I'm just just imagine that I'm not talking about gorillas. I'm talking about the band. Okay, I'm beating up the band gorillas. You know, with the Z. <laughs> Look at them. Half of them are bowing down, and the other half are just like, oh. Not this show off again. You disappoint me, horseman. You look quite small from up here. You can look me in the eye when I kill you. Let's see how you fare, horseman. With only two legs to carry you. Well, I don't need a horse because I'm already a horse man. Ho ho! All right, so it seems we've run into horsemen versus literal horsemen. All right, this is the actual battle that we are going to be partaking in. Let's go ahead and take him out some more. Jeez, all right, this guy's horse is slower. I'm quite, I'm quite okay with this. This said, I'm not sure that having fire on my sword is the best idea for this fight, particularly. This guy seems to be quite okay with fire. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and switch that up a bit. Unless there's gonna be my buddy for this one. 
this time around. Sorry about that, Mr. Fire. We're gonna be taking care of this. Woo! The, oh, what the heck? There was an action command. I had an action event for a second there. I suppose it's when he charges head on. If you're fast enough, you can do something crazy like this. Wahoo! Boom! So what was that? About looking me in the face? Haha! <laughs> Now I'm the only real horseman here. Oh, what now? All right. Kill us all. Can't kill us all. Oh, wait, there's only one of you though. Everyone else is too chicken. I mean, they've been spending too much time with their chicken horses. At least this guy wasn't a chicken horse. So, you know, I respect you. You're respectable non-chicken. I keep clicking buttons trying to hit cap locks so I can do my freaking boom! There you go, so I can do that. Never works. Oh, jeez. I'm running low on health. Oh, shit. Is there any health? There's no health over here anymore, is there? I've used it all up. It was not a good situation for me then. Hopefully, these boxes will help me out some. Please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. I'm a good, I'm a good guy. There's nothing. There's nothing for me here. What the heck? This guy can shoot things. Oh, jeez. These geyser things are really annoying, man. I'm gonna call you... I'm gonna call you Kaiser Geyser. I don't even know what that really means, nor if it is at all relevant to you or your actual name, but that is your name now. Kaiser Geyser. Have fun with that. Right now, I am looking for health chests somewhere. Man, they all disappeared. And they're not helping me out. I suppose that makes sense, considering that we literally failed. And that is the only reason. All right, say what you will about Kaiser Geyser and his army of chicken, but he's no pushover. Jeez, this guy actually does a lot of damage. You're gonna wanna be wary of that. Okay, he's about to geyser it up. Once you get used to how it looks when he's about to geyser it up, I suppose it's not as detrimental to your health. Still is though, it's hard to dodge, holy crap. Really hard to dodge. Maybe <laughs> just bowing down to him. Just but a wound of the flesh. With that, holy crap, Kaiser Geyser's horse is freaking pissed. What the shit? Ah! Let me, let me out. What the shit? Was that a nightmare? What the shit? What the hell is back? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> that thing's lost its mind. Kill it. Well, it isn't its fault that the programmers suddenly decided it could walk through walls earlier. Ooh, we can go through the floors now, too. Interesting. I like it. Doesn't look like war is a huge fan right about now, though. Enough, I said. Finish it! Ruin. I won't fight you. You fool! I order you to break that down. And if I refuse, you'll kill me. I'll take my chances. Alright, PETA can say what they will about the last few episodes, but we are animal lovers at heart. 
War and Ruin are reunited. While riding Ruin, sword attacks become very powerful. Press C, summon, banish Ruin. Alright, sweet! Ah, oh, this is awesome. I was wondering if we were ever going to get ourselves an Epona. I mean, uh, Ruin. <laughs> I guess they kind of ruined that joke for me, didn't they? Aha! Sweet. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get myself Kraken. I'm killing all of these not so Krakens with my not so Kraken. Because, well, this looks like a horse, not a squid. I'm just pointing that out. I mean, I could just be, I could just be wrong about this. Say what I am saying right here. But it looks like it's about time to take care of everyone else. You ready? I'm gonna totally knock them all out. Knock them dead. I must say, at this point, now that we're doing a lot of damage with our sword, it is kind of good to have this bloodthirst thing out because we are getting a lot of health from it. It's gonna almost replenish everything. You brings a tear to my eye. How can we go? Beast might be your only hope of finding this yeah, you know what? I think this guy's the freaking bad influence here. PETA, come take him away. We don't need him anyways. Jeez. Easily the most freaking... Okay, you can't say he's the most annoying Na'vi because I think the Na'vi of the actual Na'vi is probably going to take that title. But still, this guy's definitely the meanest and the worst to be around. Alright, let's see. What can we do? Can I open this chest while on the horse? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and banish you. You are banished. I am banishing you to... I, I think we should... We'd be more apt to call it vanishing him. Because banishing is such a harsh word. He just literally vanishes into thin air when you don't need him. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call it that. Maybe we're just nishing him. Maybe it's a, just a tiny bit of both, you know? You're just nishing. We're nishing our horse right then and there. Alright. Go ahead and unnish our horse. Come on, horse. Today we ride. All right. Now let's please get out of this little place. I wonder if Horsey McHorserson can actually outrun these things. All right. It's going to be nice to figure that out. But we're going to go ahead and tackle the Stygian. Well, <laughs> I don't think we're going to tackle the Stygian. It looks pretty big and I'm pretty terrified when the time comes. But we might make headway into having a chance to try out tackling the Stygian in the next episode. For now, I will see you guys then. That is that for this.